Jesus said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. Evangelist David Bybee has been called and anointed by God to fulfill the scripture. Now, let's join Evangelist David Bybee in the worship service at the Crossroads Community Church, Carthage, North Carolina. Joining by television today, uh, if you have your Bible, get it out and wipe the dust off of it. And a lot of people don't like that. I got a letter from a, a person this past week that was thanking God for me saying that. Because, you know, so many families have family Bibles. They have Bibles at home, but they don't get them out. And they sit there and they gather dust. And uh, we need to remind them, get that Bible out and read it every day. You know, that's the Word of God. And today, I hope that this message that God has given me will be a blessing to you. Uh, but if you have your Bibles, turn to First Kings. Uh, we're going to begin in chapter 12. We're going to go over into chapter 13. And, but it's in the book of First Kings. And right now I want you to put your hands together and make welcome my daughter as she sings for the glory of the Lord.
God's got a watchful eye. And I forgot to tell the congregation a while ago, every week I do a, a decree or a prayer request or something God lays on my heart. And I'm going to read it for those joining by television. Then we're going to turn it over and read the back of it. Uh, my God is greater, larger, and more powerful than any problems you or I might encounter. No matter what kind of problem comes your way, God is bigger, he's greater, and he's more powerful than anything that can come my way or your way. And all we need is let's get out of his way. All of us just need to get out of his way and let God handle your problem. A lot of people say, well, that's impossible. It's easy to say, but it's impossible to do. No, it's not. I know what I'm talking about. I face problems as far greater than most people's problems. And I've learned to just step aside and give them to God and let God handle it. I can't take care of it. I cannot handle the problems that I face. There's no way. But I can give them to God, and he's done a pretty good job. I've been taking care of them all my life. And my wisdom this week is always look ahead toward the cross because that's where your victory is. Always look ahead toward the cross. Center. If you have your Bibles over in 1 Kings, I want to talk to you about Rehoboam and Jeroboam. And most of you, as you know, Israel divided uh, like a lot of churches have done. Israel had 12 tribes, and they couldn't get along, and they didn't want to, to follow the laws of God. Ten tribes decided they wanted to break off and do what they wanted to do. So God laid it on their hearts. Will you ten just stay together? And he gave them a king, Jeroboam. But there was two other tribes, the tribe of Judah and the tribe of Benjamin, that wanted to follow God's commandments. And so God gave them a king, Rehoboam. And Rehoboam, or Rehoboam, however you want to say it, was Solomon's son. And so you've got two tribes that become Judah, and you've got ten tribes that become Israel. And it was a time of division. And, of course, later on, God, uh, God, there's a reason for it. I'm not going to go into all of that detail. I don't have time today. But then uh, Jeroboam, uh, Rehoboam was a king of Judah, but Jeroboam was a king of Israel. And Jeroboam was very evil. And uh, he misled people, and he misled Israel. And he was jealous over the fact that Rehoboam had two tribes. He wanted all 12 of them. And uh, so he did some things that were not pleasing to God. He built an altar, and he said, well, if I build an altar, Israel will come here, and maybe Judah and Benjamin will come, and all the 12 tribes will come and offer their sacrifices on these altars, which building an altar without the ord ordinate and ordin ordinance of God or ordination of God uh, was a sin to start with. But then he made two golden calves, and he said they can come offer their sacrifices to these calves. And following the spirit of the devil, he tried to deceive the body of Christ. And that's going on today. We still have the people under deception today. But disobedience is what I want to talk about today because God, when Jeroboam offered the sacrifice, he did the same sin that Saul had done and many other men of God had done. They tried to take it upon themselves instead of following the laws of God. God laid down the law uh, under, in this particular case, 